Yo, hi, hello, how's it going? Good, welcome back to another video. Yo, we actually cleaned that up and I'm kind of proud of myself for doing that. Two, wow, thank you so much for 500 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys more than enough. Um, these are little small time goals that I do have for myself. Shout out to 500 of you guys for subscribing, hitting the notification bell, just checking out my videos and um, I, I want to thank you all for that. So, already being two and a half years into Smash Ultimate, Riders Pass 2 and 2021 is ending off with two last characters. Today, I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the top five characters that I think that you should play in Smash Ultimate 2021. Let's get to it. Okay, cool. So number five on my list, I'm actually going to put Peach in this rotation of characters. Um, I think Peach has a lot of useful setups and a lot of tools in her arsenal that kind of can make her a viable character to pick up either as a main or as a secondary. Uh, one of Peach's main mechanics is Float. And with Float, you can take advantage of stage control very, very quickly and mainly set up a ton of like ledge traps and different combos to kind of mix up your opponent and keep them on their toes. Uh, with numerous tools in her arsenal, Peach Peach's uh, down special allows you to pick turnips from the ground. You can actually pick a little more than turnips. There's a chance that you can actually pick uh, Mr. Saturn, and that'll break your shield if it makes contact with it. Uh, and then there's also the bomb on, which is, you know, will deal like a high amount of explosive damage, which is also super good. But it's also kind of rare that you might be able to go ahead and pull that. Um, but again, like picking just a regular degular turnips from the ground will lead to like either some pretty sick combos or some like uh, some pretty like gimping recoveries or anything like that. And another really good thing to mention is that like Peach has some like pretty good movement speed. If you actually see some Peaches like moving every now and then um, there are Peach players in the ultimate scene that just honestly make Peach look like one of the best characters in ultimate. If you check out the characters like uh, Samsara, Samsara is an amazing Peach player and when you see him do all these things all together like flow canceling and kind of gimping recoveries with uh, turn up or just getting these high damage high percent combos with uh turn ups and down throw and shit like that you're like whoa holy crap i had no idea that peach can do any of that um i think peach is also like super fun to watch but the only thing that kind of makes peach a little difficult to kind of like i guess adjust to is like again getting used to how like float works and getting used to float canceling and uh just uh, kind of like also understanding how all of of the different uh, turnips work they all don't kind of do the same amount of things kind of like how pac-man's fruit does they all do like different percentages have different amount of knockbacks but once you kind of put the time and work into like kind of really learning how those things work you can get those things down and it's kind of like a high risk high reward kind of factor but again peach has so many great things to her it's definitely a character that i recommend that you guys pick up all right, so somebody else on this list at number four, I want to go ahead and put Pit on this list. Pit has also a lot of good things in his utility, and I think he's a pretty good character for you to go ahead and pick up for the very first time if you're kind of getting new to playing Smash. Um, a lot of his mechanics are super simple. He has multiple jumps. Uh, his recovery is like stupid broken. He has a counter, which kind of will get you adapt to like how like, I guess, basic uh, specials work. Um, something that I think it's pretty unique in his toolkit that he does have is the his arrows the arrows you can actually aim after you go ahead and fire them um, another useful thing that I think Pit actually has in his arsenal is the use of like multi-hit attacks for his up air I think his fair his neutral air uh, that leads into a lot of big percent combos I think the thing about Pit that kind of makes him a little difficult is that Pit just needs that little bit of like a push to go ahead and put the effort in to go ahead and like secure Cure the kill itself but other than that i think pit is definitely a viable character if you're looking to pick up a character for the very first time or just dive into it in general pit is definitely going to be one of your choices to look upon all right so i might be a little biased on this but um at the number three pick i do want to go ahead and put my boy pac-man in here uh, just because it, for the same reason that i went ahead and picked up pac-man myself i think pac-man has so many different uh useful things in his kit that'll make him super useful for uh you to go ahead and pick up um you have a shit ton of different fruit to pick from which kind of give you different options in regards of like how you want to go ahead and kill um i think he has like one of the best recoveries in the game if i'm like not 
mistaken. Um, he can secure kills like relatively early around like 60% with F smash. Um, and again, something that's pretty cool that you do have that kind of works in neutral is uh, Pac-Man's Hydrant. Uh, Hydrant kind of acts as like a kind of like a like a I guess like an object between you and your opponent. Uh, and it's kind of more or less trying to figure out how to get around that or how to react to it. Um, and you can use that to kind of get a better idea of like how your opponent is going to react to it, how you're going to use it. And yeah, I think Pac-Man is definitely one of those characters that um, you can pick up pretty easy. Like um, a lot of his combos are also relatively simple. You have things such as like fair, fair, or you have like Nair into fair. Um, but if you're looking to pick up a character, give Pac-Man a try. He's, he's not as difficult as people make him seem to be. All right. So number two on this list, I do want to go ahead and put my boy Wolf on there. Um, I think Wolf has a crazy, like really great aggressive play style. If you're someone who kind of like so really want to go for like high damage and kind of keep that same like combo factor in there uh wolf is a pretty good viable choice he has things such as like his blaster and also his reflector that are also super sick uh but his smash attacks that should kill relatively early and also have a pretty wide range to them especially up smash that up smash can like scoop you pretty quick um a lot of useful like edge guarding tools that he has is things like such as like down smash which covers uh, a little bit under the ledge um f tilt his f tilt it's like god like i don't know the frame data on that exact exactly but um that shit is actually super super good but other than that such as other tools like his aerials like his fair uh his up air gonna ha like be tools that kind of juggle you for just a little bit so um if you're looking for a character to decide hey who should i pick up as a main uh take a look at wolf wolf uh and also take a look at tweaks wolf tweaks wolf is actually super sick so um definitely worth a character checking out all right so the number one spot on this list i do want to go ahead and give it to diddy kong which actually made a pretty like loud ruckus back in smash 4 but i do think in ultimate if people were to actually go ahead and pick him up they'll actually get a better idea of like how useful this character is with certain things such as like monkey flip being a command grab and banana being kind of like a zoning tool um a lot of diddy kong's combos also start from down throw and combo into fair or up air or neutral air um going back to banana banana i feel like is something that a lot of people are going to be using in neutral whenever it does come down to diddy kong it does have uh the opportunity to trip the opponent which can lead into early ko's and early stocks um a lot of good things that uh diddy kong also has is like um uh peel banana peel into down smash or uh, banana peel into down air i see a lot of diddy kongs use that um and it's crazy in the competitive scene uh, diddy kongs aren't someone that i see like often played but um that's about it for my top five characters i think you should play in 2021 if you guys happen to like this video go ahead and like comment and subscribe down below hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload and i'll see you guys next time thanks for tuning in